This is a review of the age of surveillance capitalism, the fight for a human future at the new frontier of power. Summed up, these are tech companies gathering data to control human behavior through behavioral modification. The profits involved sell predictions to behavior and do a complete analysis of human behavior to try to control it. They want to be there where you are, somewhat like the last of Mohicans, they will find you. Knowledge, data, power, and authority is the human capital. They oversee the systems of communication and systems of power, just like Big Brother. There's AI, machine learning, fancy algorithms, and automations. Then there's the tech titans, such as the Lizard King, the, in other words, the Facebook CEO, Mark Zuckerberg. There's Google, Apple, and any other tech companies involved, such as Amazon. These creative disruptors don't care or even want to take responsibility. And Shoshana Zoboff reveals a conquistador mentality. You do this, the land is mine, brainwash and influence. Move on, and that's the way it is. Not a strong arm tactic, but a strong brainwash tactic. Knowing where you are has increased due to GPS, even if it might be off. It, it knows we are by simply clicking that share button. The mentality of Silicon Valley, move fast and break things. Do not ask for permission, always apologize. It's invasion of the smartphone, always on watch. And self-conscious by the new big brother. Some of the tech junkies, the social media influencers, they want that quick fame through viral popularity. And surveillance capitalism understands this human behavior because it is unconscious and it's there to exploit it. The prison animal. Next, I want to talk about the few dislikes about the book. Some of it is redundant. I almost gave up reading it from the beginning of maybe the first two chapters, but I gave it a chance and it, it proved to be a worthy journey. She is a female tech writer, so this book will probably be a sleeper hit. Most of the tech industry is dominated by males, so they have more insider input and as well as, I would say, better technical analysis. I bought it for $4 and it costs about $20 in Kindle. Just wait for the price to drop. She didn't use Big Brother till the end of the book, and she calls it The Big Other, which is about the only creative thing in this book. Not to insult her. However, there is good research and citation in this book. I'm fairly impressed. And it's unfortunate few will read it and will just react to it on social media. And hopefully this review will give it a boost. I want to do a quick summary of the companies involved, such as Google. They have Google Glass. They are the dominant GPS system. You dominate search through that, through YouTube and Google. And they can know your history, age, and sex. And they have algorithms that can kind of determine what you want. The data is vast with Google. They are almost the encyclopedia. And they can put information or manipulate information if they want. Amazon, which you really buy. There's Alexa always listening to you, Amazon packages being tracked, what you can buy, what you can predict you can buy. And Alexa voice can pick up on tonalities. Eventually there's going to be some human type of element to pick up on certain types of tonalities, such as yelling or outrage. There's moods. Uh, and they can understand people buy when they're upset, so you can sell during bad moods. Interesting fact. There's Facebook, the Lizard King. They dominate text. They sell data to Cambridge Analytica, which is a big controversy. They could target ads, place them. They sell their stuff for free in the guise of free. There's Apple, a bit lighter. There wasn't much talk about Apple. It has a better image. They protect data. However, they own the phone element as well as they have Siri, which is always listening. A few sleepers are Verizon and Yahoo, so they can analyze your data when you're calling who you're calling. And they are merge with other companies so yahoo and other cable companies and they can control the influence if they want to and in general we know where you are going the mic records all and if you put companies in general china has their own tech companies such as baidu and alibaba and the way they control their system is they have like a credit system of control there's less privacy, they have the numbers, they can invade at any moment. So it can be very scary how you can be positioned in that culture. And eventually they're gonna have like a more of a revolution. They're gonna have more issues in the state, America and the West. You get dings for not doing what they want. You wanna survive, you listen to the state. This next section, I wanna talk about darkness since that is an element of much of my videos. This is covert disruption. They operate in the dark. They may say, we are a tech company, so they don't have to hold any responsibility. They are doxing in the dark, now the spotlight is on you. They can ruin your life. They hide their strategy. It's almost like an insurance company. They delay, deny, defend, and dumb down any type of reaction. We are tech, not a publisher. Why is porn free? There's ads in the feed when you don't even freaking want them. The dark is not seen. 
the position thing is to be in the light so you can see this pinpointed and the big cell the big act will be the drama and they may distract you upset you and attract you with outrage while taking the crown for themselves when you're unhappy they deliver more news to you to get you more addicted to the negativity to get more outrage to cause a shock culture keep you shallow in a shallow world they can monitor your patterns of purchases and make deals behind the scenes to get you to do more purchases they're playing in the fear they use immaculate storytelling they virtue signal the rights and the light when true freedom is in the darkness freedom is in the sanctuary they paint dark as bad when it actually can hold the truth and how this has influenced me what i learned I want to check out The Road to Serfdom by F.A. Hayek, as well as Walden 2 by Skinner. I have that first book, however, I'll check out Walden 2. And it's not just The Pawn. It's not Henry David Thoreau, but a different behavioral psychologist named Skinner. And these companies may personalize data, my data, to guys and bait me. By these algorithms, keep me addicted to the computer, addicted to anything that they can sell me or to guide me for future Predictions and for future bait tactics, whether it be bait and switch or some of them sell me bullshit. In contrast, you could read and go outside, take action. Europe has this thing called right to be forgotten, yet people in general, especially young, they don't want to be FOMO'd, fear of missing out. There's freedom versus control. Choose wisely and I'll choose freedom. The young, especially connected to tech, they're disconnected and it's just a shallow world out there. There's a herd mentality, especially younger males getting weaker. And once before they dominated nature, now before they're trying to dominate human nature. There's a hiding strategy, as, as I was saying in the dark. They give products for free, when in fact, if you read Robert Greene's book, you just despise the free meal. There's a catch. They're using gamification for drivers, such as Uber and Lyft drivers. They're giving you rewards and trying to give you a rating system or egging you on or doing bait tactics to try to get you to do certain things. They're taking and sharing data. They're banning free speech and freedom in the social world, not so much in the wild world. And it's because they don't like it or someone doesn't like it. It gets in their way. It gets in the way of their capitalism system. There's easily pleasure and comfort in a ride in Disneyland. And then they can tell you to line up for six hours because what else other zombies are doing? I see it as a techie conquistador over the human free spirit. And I'm glad I read this book. It's 600 pages around there. It's a sleeper and not many people will read it or will ignore it. I think it's due to her not really advertising as much. I haven't heard much about this book or seen many interviews with her. And at the end of the day, what is fair play? What is privacy? What can we use? Well, these companies just take the data and, and use it for their own will, whether it be sell or control. I'll read Walden 2 by Skinner to understand behavioral psychology and modification. I have to be an individual. And it's going to be interesting seeing the buildup of youth wanting that fast fame of being an influencer, digital agents of this surveillance capitalism, not taking the time, wanting that quick rush, getting it too short, getting and grabbing that data. They will do whatever they want to get you addicted to the tech, to get you to do what they want, suggested on that feed for the domesticated animal that they probably are. And at the end of the day, it's freedom versus control. Freedom's in the dark. They just need to back off. These companies don't, they don't have the visceral empathy. There's freedom in the sanctuary, wherever the safe place is, not just a safe place, but something where you could be yourself, not having these companies do bullshit to you. Where these companies in general make you vomit, use that vomit to vomit all over you.